Hey guys, what's going on? Flawless Crested Geckos here. Will uh, coming to you guys with another video. Uh, was going through some of our logs and come to realize that had some, maybe some informative information for you. Uh, hopefully, can help you guys out as you guys are working on, you know, your Crested Gecko projects. Um, in the past, when <clears throat> we've been doing our breedings, we log everything. We still log everything. And we monitor what females, how many uh, eggs they're laying, how many clutches. Um, and earlier on, we actually had some extraordinary females that just love to lay in clutches. I mean, um, I want to say one female laid us 13 clutches, um, which is the most that we've uh, ever recovered from a female. And I want to say that was maybe four or five years ago. Um, we don't like that uh, in general um, we want to make sure that ideally for us perfect world I mean 10 clutches that's amazing you know um, even 9 10 in that area uh, clutches of eggs that's awesome uh, anything over that for us it feels like it rolls over into almost consistently laying you know into the into the following year um, when you have a smaller amount of uh, geckos in your collection, you can pay close attention uh, to what each gecko is giving you every year, which is how we started. And we continue that process, which makes uh, increases the amount of logistics we have to do on our side, which is fine. Um, so what this video is going to be about is our experience in trying to manipulate uh, that the best way we can um, and this has not come to light until actually we got into the facility so inside our home we normally keep it rather cool but around 70 you know degrees pretty much year-round um, this half of the house where the geckos were uh, we would keep it you know pretty much the same um, and we noticed that that's what we were going through at those times um, that being said, we didn't see it as a problem, but we want to make sure that we can, you know, emulate seasons as hey much guys, as possible. Hey guys, Flawless Crested Geckos here, Will, Audra, and we're here to tell you about our Patreon. Yes, going through tough times, you gotta know that Flawless is always gonna have your back. If you go over to patreon.com slash Flawless Crested Geckos, you'll see all the perks and benefits it is there for you to come and support us on our Patreon. $50 a month, turns around and goes right back into your Flawless Crested Gecko savings account for you to use towards your next purchase. Any purchase. We also give awesome benefits such as 5% off off the top of the, the price of the gecko. We get free merchandise, t-shirts, we have stainless steel tables, tools, yes. <laughs> all kinds of goodies. We also give free shipping to our members all year round, no blackout dates. And, you know, we give awesome tips, or we think we do anyway. <laughs> That's right. So go over to patreon.com slash Flawless Crested Gecko. And sessions. join our family. As much as possible, um, which is what the facility has done for us. Um, so this past year, going into the facility, even though we started our breedings late, our parents late, we recognized something with our logs. We decided to do what you would do call a seasonal I guess temperature drop where um, we moved them you know from 70 you know 4 75 we dropped them down to 70 um, at the end of the season right around I want to say the end of September beginning of October and it seemed like it hit an off switch um, on most uh, pretty much almost all of our females um, they continued to lay maybe um, that month and the following month and then it was like literally nothing we were talking about you know anywhere from you know 80 to 90 uh, females at that point um, laying just pretty much ceased um, you're always going to have your outliers so <clears throat> we probably had two or three females that laid into let's say December and all uh, December and uh, January um, we like to do our repairing um, starting our breeding season the last week of February um, that's consistent for us uh, so when we say oh we started late that means we started after that means we started into March um, we'll say 
um, the following seasons moving forward. So what does that look like for us? That means October, you know, whether it's September 31st or October 1st, we are gonna do it again. We're gonna drop the temps down to probably 70, 72, um, somewhere in that range to emulate a seasonal change in the weather um, and keep a close eye on it. We're pretty sure it's gonna do the same exact thing um, to all our breeder girls. And then the last week, the last day of February, um, we will ramp up the, the heat. And when I say ramp up the heat, we'll go from, you know, that 72 um, and bump it back moderately up to 75. Um, <clears throat> when it's up to 75 and they start breeding and then we kind of emulate almost another seasonal change where we'll go from the 75 to 78 and 78 is where we'll stay for the remainder all the way till we bump it back down um, in October. So these are some things that uh, we want to share with you guys and be transparent with you guys where um, especially if you have larger collections where you want to emulate seasons so you have a season and you don't have just a consistent you know laying and hatching throughout the entire year maybe that's fine for you as well um, but that's what seems to be working for us uh, so we wanted to bring it to the table and I don't know give it a try um, we we have noticed they consume less food uh, in the winter months um, spring summer they're eating like crazy uh, which is great but you know they're just kind of just chilling almost like a, a hibernation mode they go in they're not as active um they're not as rambunctious where they're jumping and leaping and running all the way from you so give it a try um it's like a little moderate you know temperature drop and temperature increase when the season comes back around and see if you can emulate seasonal change yourself so that's all we got for you is will flawless crested geckos we out